looks complicated about the latitude and longitude, but we will see it how to remember it in the most beautiful. Now the main part, let's see the latitude and the most talked about. How do we remember these numbers which seem very complex? So I have shared my technique. So first we write 8, we take half of that, it's 4, and then we'll deduct 1 from 4, we get 3, we deduct 1 from 8, we get 7, we deduct 1 from 7, we get 6. And we add 60 degrees to the latitudes and the longitudes. So we get the latitudes and longitude degrees. And the difference between 9 and 2, 9 and 7 is 2. The, the only number between 6 and 8 is 7. And the difference between 9 and 7 is 2 and 7 and 2 is 5. And just we have to add the degrees and the directions. Uh, I described the technique and I'm so sure that you have not got it. I know that. So practically, I'm just going to show you now on the board how we really derive it. Yep. Okay. So as we are saying, we are aware of the latitudes and the longitude measures of India. Latitudes 8 degrees 4 minutes north to 37 degrees 6 minutes north and longitude 68 degrees 7 minutes east to 97 degrees 25 minutes east. Question is, how do I remember? Get up early in the morning. Eat a lot of badam. Apply badam oil. And then every day in the morning, whoever you meet in the morning, first thing you are going to say, hello. 8 degrees, 4 minutes, how are you? Is it a good idea to remember? No, not really. Then what's the technique? Very simple. Now look at me very carefully. And I am assuring you that this is the most powerful technique ever, ever, ever there to remember this. All you have to remember is just one number. Yes, you got me. You heard me exactly right. You have to remember just one number and you will get all the measures. Let's, let's, let's dive into it. How do I do it? All I have to remember is this number 8. The first degree of the latitude 8. And look at me carefully how the magic begins. I just want to remember 8. Okay. What is half of 8? Half of 8 is 4. I've got my first measure. I've just got my first measure in half of 8. So I just put a degree out here. I just put a minute sign out here. And obviously it's a latitude I put north out here. How do I go to the second latitude? Very simple. All I have to do is from 4, I'll just deduct 1 and write 3. Similarly from 8, I'll deduct 1, I'll subtract 1, I'll write 7. And one more thing, I'll continue this trend. If So I was deducting 1 from both of them. If I deduct 1 from 7, what do I get? I get 6. And lovely, this is where I get the second latitude measure. I just started with 8. We went into half. We just subtracted 1, 1. I got the second measure. Latitudes are in. How do I remember the longitudes? Very simple. To the longitudes, please see this. To the longitudes, for the degrees part. So I am removing this now. For the degrees part. To get this degree, what do we do? A simple standard formula. Please add 60 degrees to the degree. So in first measure, this is the degree. My first longitude is 68 degrees. Does it match? Yes, it matches. Similarly, if my second measure is 37 degrees, I just have to add 60, so I get 97 degrees. Does it match? Yes, it matches. It matches. So we got to degree. Again, it's very simple to remember the longitudes as well. What do you think is the missing number between 6 and 8? Obviously, it is 7. All I have to do is now write the minute and write the degree. And it matches with the longitude. Similarly, let's come here. Very interesting. The last one. This is the last one. And we'll crack it. 97. What's the difference of 9 and, uh, 9 and 7? Obviously, it's 2. And what do you think is the difference between 7 and 2? Obviously, it's 5. And if we see, this is how I remember. So I just remember one number. And with this technique, 
I get all of them in one go. I hope you appreciate it. Stay on uh, to see more such techniques regarding this. Thank you so much. What? So that's what the slide is on. Let's look at land boundaries now. Very simple. 15, 20, and a 0. I don't. I just remember the technique once and I don't want to remember this ever. 15, 20. We say in Hindi, 15, 20. De do. This is 15, 20. Another 0. Land boundary is over. Let's look at the coastline. Slightly complex. Slightly. 7516.6. Okay. 7516.6. Okay. If I have to split this, what do I do? I write 7 first. Then if you see, it is 666. Six, six. But this is 5. 51, yeah, that's what I'm saying. 6 is also, 6 also can be written as 5, 1. And then 6 and 6 and a decimal. I get 7, 5, 1, 6.6 6 kilometers. The Indian standard meridian at 82.30. Now the closest we can remember is 82.30. 82. We remember 82. The next 2, 2 is 3. So we get 3. What happens if I add 2 to 8? I will get 10. Forget the 1. I will just add the 0 out here. 82, 30 degrees east. 82 degrees, 30 minutes east. That is standard meridian. Length of the country. This is the simplest you can ever remember. It is 3 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 1. And then 3 plus 1, 4. But we have put the 4 behind. That is it. That is how simple it is to remember. Breadth of the country. 2933. The very simple way to remember it is 2.9. How much is 2.9? It's almost 3. How much? It is almost 3. Remove the dot. We have 2933 kilometers. Yeah, it looks simple. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, one more uh, challenging part in this chapter is to remember the name of the neighboring countries of India, right? And how many of you all love playing video games? Yeah, I know. You are like excited. You are already saying, we, sir, we love PUBG and we love this and we love that. And believe me, I have been a gamer in my life as well. I have loved games. Obviously, we love games. We are huge. And this time, in this age, if you do not love games, please show it to your doctor. You have to love games, obviously. Now, the first game ever, which was very popular, is Pac-Man. So, all I want to show you here is how Pac-Man helps us remember India's neighbors. So, imagine if there's a girl, she's playing Pac-Man and she's playing Pac-Man in her own style. And then let's see how do we get every country out here, every neighboring country of India. All we do is there's a miss, there's a lady, there's a girl, there's a girl who was playing Pac-Man. Okay. Now, I wanted to do a very simple thing. We'll just strike off this one A and we'll write two Bs. That's it. Nothing much. The only change. We'll strike off one A and we'll write two Bs. And do I get all my countries? I get all my countries, neighboring countries out here. How do I get my neighboring countries out here? Let's see. So, so if I see this, We get the countries by which we share sea boundaries, and these are the countries by which we share land boundaries. You don't believe me? Let's see it. Okay, so where we come? India's MS Maldives, Sri Lanka, we have we share water boundaries or marine time boundaries with them, and PAC MB MB. So we get Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Myanmar, Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh. All the countries, all India's neighboring countries with a simple short formula. Yep, I hope that makes it very easy for you. 
Uh, obviously, then this uh, section is there in this chapter where when we say that uh, because of India's predominant presence in the northeast, uh, obviously it became a center land. Uh, people coming from the west used to travel to east, used to land in India. Similarly, all the major sea routes were there. A lot of exchange of information, a lot of exchange of trade, of goods, of ideas. And since year on year, so apart from that, knowing the fact that India was also linked by the land boundary, by the olden traditional Silk Route, as we are aware of, uh, India had a huge flourishing trade on the seaside as well. India. Uh, and I think so, that is it. I hope you have enjoyed uh, looking at the video. Uh, uh, for more such things, please contact us. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.